Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right. So our morning reading this morning will be coming from Luke 10, verses 17 through 19. But of course, we know on this week we're discussing have dominion. All right. The authority of the believer that as a believer in Christ Jesus, you have been given authority over the devil and his kingdom. All right. But you must use that authority. You must exercise your authority. All right. Walking in dominion over all the works of the enemy daily. OK, you must use this authority. And we said your tongue is your seat of authority. Your tongue is how you release this authority. You have something to say. My God, don't you sit there with your mouth closed. You better open up that mouth, my God, and use your authority, okay? So let's read Luke 10, verse 17. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amplified says, Behold, I have given you authority and power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and physical and mental strength and ability over all the power that the enemy possesses and nothing shall in any way harm you. Thank you, Jesus. All right. In the name of Jesus, hear it. Devils are subject unto you. Yes, unto you. You mean by preacher? You mean the you mean the, the bishop? No. Devils are subject unto you through the name of Jesus. All right. When you use the name of Jesus. The devils have to obey you again. Yes, you. Oh my God, you have been given power over all the power of the devil, over all the power that he possesses. All right, there is no weapon, no plot or plan hell can come up with that you don't have power and authority over it. All right, but you gotta again, you gotta exercise this authority. Every day, again, you have something to say. I encourage you, my Lord, you should wake up every morning decreeing and declaring, using your mouth, exercising your authority. My God, why? Because I don't care what hell tries to come up with, any weapon, any plan, any plot, you have authority, you have power over all of it. My God, open up that mouth and plead the blood of Jesus as we shared on yesterday. Pleading the blood over your kids and pleading the blood over your marriage and over your household, over your over your health, over your finances, over your mind. My God, bless you, Jesus. You have something to say, bless God. Use your authority. And again, you have power over all the power the enemy possesses. Amen? Amen. So let's go ahead and take your meal on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and another opportunity you've given unto us to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. And for that, we say thank you. We take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we love you. Everything you did was for us. You was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace and our complete wholeness was upon you and with and by your stripes we were healed therefore we are healed from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet we say thank you lord jesus for all you've done we say thank you we do this in remembrance of you and we acknowledge every time we take communion all the covenant rights privileges and benefits are dispersed on the inside of us so we need healing it's in the cup my god what do we need provisions is in the cup no matter what it is and we thank you for it lord jesus we take the bread right now we eat all of it thank you jesus thank you lord oh we bless you father we take the cup right now 
the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love, all sins forgiven, past, present, future sins forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your forgiveness, Lord. We take the cup of the blessing. We drink all of it. Saying thank you, Jesus. So again, I encourage you. You have power of all the power the enemy possesses. Exercise that authority in the name of Jesus. All right. So let's get our authority of the believer confession in. I am in Christ Jesus, and I have been given dominion, power, and authority over the devil and his kingdom. I have been raised up by Christ to sit with him in heavenly places far above all principalities and powers. I will use my authority and exercise my dominion on today. I take authority over all demonic activity, every plot, every plan of the devil. I bind it in the name of Jesus and I decree it will not prosper. It will not come to pass in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us. Father, I shout grace, grace to all that's watching right now. I thank you, Father, every need of every household is met in full with abundance and more than enough. Father, I thank you to all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies. Father, I thank you that you have healed them all, Father. And I speak peace to every household, Father. We bind the spirit of strife and division and we lose oneness and unity in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. And we thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. Have a blessed day. Amen.